Right, folks, how are we? Me? Thank you for asking. A little bit pissed off, to be fair, just a little bit. Um, I was just uploading a video and I had a rant about Mr. Kurt Zoomler. Zoomler? Zoomer. You know, the bloke who was at Chelsea and now he's at West Ham. Um, I think he's more renowned for kicking cats at the moment uh, than other things. And uh, I just had a rant. I had a right moan about the way he abused his cat. Not just the way he abused his cat. The way his brother videoed it. Uh, the way they were all laughing about it. And the way that his children were encouraged to join him. Um, I'm a little bit, well no I'm not, I'm a, I'm, what it is folks is I was just uploading the video and the news headline came through that uh, they have, the RSPCA have taken his cats into custody um, for their own safety and I totally agree with that. Um, anybody who kicks a cat or kicks any kind of animal they should have them removed off them. Um, you have a cat or a dog or a gerbil or a goldfish or a lizard or whatever, and you t you buy one and you put it in part, you know, it becomes part of the family. Now you do not have an animal to abuse unless you're some kind of complete fucking idiot. Um, I just totally, I just don't, understand why anybody would want to drop kick a cat get their child to hold the cat so then you could slap it what winds me up there's a lot of things that wind me up about this right well one of them is the fact that it's only just taken the RSPCA now to go and get the fucking cats right because them cats right must have been living in absolute fear you cannot tell me and I can't prove it, and he can't prove that it hasn't happened before. But well, I would say there is a fair fucking chance that that has happened on a couple of occasions where that cat has been abused and chased around the house. And the other thing is, if the fucking dad does it, there's a very good chance that the kids will do it as well. Because it will be a case of, I copy my parents, I copy what they do. There is a fair chance that if you do something bad, the pair, the child will copy you. If you do something good, there's a fair chance that the pair, uh, the child will see that and do the same. But we've always had animals in our family um, because my mother said it was a good way to bring the child up to care for something, to look after it, to love it, to respect it. And that way in life, you will be the same with people. There is a thing where I have read where um, if you abuse a ch uh, uh, an animal in later life, you go on and you move, you get away with abusing the animal, then you start on to moving on to pay onto people because you're a fucking idiot, really, and that's what it's about. So what the, what I'm just but basically, I just want to get this off my chest. I just don't, people have been asking my opinions. I know you like me to have a rant, so I'm having a rant about it. It's just complete shit. Well, what it is as well. But what it is as well is the fact that these footballers seem to think, once again, they're untouchable. They seem to think they can do what they fucking like without any consequences. Now, this will probably might go to court. Uh, it'll probably might get a fine. He'll probably get £10,000, which is completely nothing to a bloke. I mean, let's face it. He's probably on close to £100,000 a week. You know, even if you find him £200,000, it ain't going to matter to him, is it? it it's, it's just not going to matter one bit to him at all. It's just a complete joke. Now, there will be people saying, have you got an itchy ear? There will be people saying, oh, because I've seen it on the internet. People saying, oh, well, if anybody who eats meat 
can't say anything on this. Well, yeah, you can. I've just have done. You can say it. Right, I eat meat, yeah? And, but what it is, when a farmer has a cow, a pig, a sheep, a chicken, or whatever, that farmer has to look after that animal until the day they basically have it slaughtered uh, to go into the food chain, yeah? That's what happens. They'll look after it, and uh, then it, it, because an animal that is not fit and healthy is no good to a fucking farmer. But you, you don't, you just don't see a farmer videoing himself in the kitchen kicking his fucking sheep around, do you? I mean, well, you don't normally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I suppose there are some bad farmers out there who probably do do bad things. I've seen somewhere they had this farmer had some youths in to help and they just they did but I think what happened is the farmer found out and sacked them and fucking strung them up to uh, to, to the police or whatever but what I'm saying is is that a farmer has to have an, a healthy animal because people uh, this government actually does actually do something good now and again and sends uh, uh, important people round to uh, inspect the animals, inspect the farm, to, to make sure the animal's welfare is at the best. But nobody seems to send around anybody to look after, to see if a pet is being abused. Now, the RSPCA have finally done something and gone round there and taken the cats away at about fucking time too. And it's, it's just a joke, the RSPCA um, I'm not a fan of them, to be fair. You'll see these adverts. Can you donate to the animals, to the RSPCA, so we can pay our CEO £150,000 a year? And then, you'll, then you've got to pay all the other ones that are below the CEO, and they're going to be on a small fortune as well. I don't even know who the CPO is of the RSPC fucking A, but I don't know. I, it, it just amazes me how we, round here, in fact, we just drove by, the fields flood and the horses get kept in the field and in the winter time, it is renowned for flooding and you, the horses get trapped in the field. You phone the RSPC out. They don't want to fucking know. They just don't want to know when a horse is standing in water, right, and the water's rising fast. It does round where we live on the A6. If you live in Mount Sorrel, you know where I fucking be. Um, the, 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 the RSPCA just don't want to know. My uh, niece, Stephanie, uh, she has been in the water uh, trying to guide these horses in a knickers, trying to save these horses and put them onto higher ground. But the RSPCA just can't be fucking arsed. Can't be arsed. And that's it. But they'll have the adverts out there. Can you donate? So anyway, what I'm getting at is... Um, Kurt Zuma, what a fucking knob for kicking your cat. What a cat, just and letting your children be involved. And it, it just it just amazes me how people can react. Why can't people just be kind to animals? Why why have they got to have this thing where you've got to abuse something, something that's. And now what will happen is he'll, he'll moan and, and I can't believe West Ham ain't done anything about it either. Granted, right, it's a football thing and then West Ham will go, we'll deal with it internally. Will you? Will you deal with it internally? What are you going to do then that's going to be dealt with internally? Why? West Ham fans are going to give me shit. I ain't bothered. I'm quite, I'm more worried about the fucking cat. To be fair, um, if it was a Leicester player, I'd still be saying the same. I'd be fucking, if it were a Leicester player, I'd be wanting them kicked out of the fucking club, to be honest. I'm a fucking animal lover. Love them. It's just a complete joke. I know not everybody likes cats, not everybody likes dogs, not everybody likes anything. But this is just down, just downright fucking embarrassment to West Ham United. And the other thing is, that's just sprung to mind. Excuse me. The other thing that's just sprung to mind is that apparently some kind of Patreon or something to do with saving cats in France? What? What? Saving cats in France? So what he does, he don't save cats in France. 
in England, he'll kick a fucking cat. I just don't understand the, the mentality that you've got to do something like that. It's just, it's just disgusting. It's just absolutely disgusting. And kids are put, and he's supposed to be a role model for fucking, for kids. And he's supposed to show, you know, how to lead the way and things. You know, he's on a big wage. He plays a game. He plays. Man, uh, West Ham, West Ham are a, a magnificent club. I like West Ham. My mate Shedde, his name's Andy Ut, so we call him Shedde. He's a happy hammer. I like West Ham. But this has just brought embarrassment to them. I just don't understand how these... Why can't, why can't footballers just be fucking normal? And show the way and lead the way? It just fucking amazes me how... So, that's what I think of it. I think it's a downright disgrace. I think he should be suspended. And people... Oh, you can't suspend him just for... Yeah, you can fucking suspend him for kicking a cat. He fucking ain't on. That cat, fuck me, why don't you open your fucking door on me? Fuck's sake! It's <sighs> unbelievable. Um, you can. You, you, it sets standards to people. It sets. It, it, it's bought. It's bought embarrassment to West Ham. This has, in my mind. And it, it's just. It's, the other thing as well is like I'm sitting here and I'm fucking fuming, right? Is that when you see footballers in the playing, right, and they get kicked, and they go down as if fucking Lee Harvey Oswald's fucking shot up, and they're rolling around, and he's like, oh, me leg, me leg, he's hurt me, he's kicked me, he's kicked me, and he's rolling around like a, f they're all rolling around like fucking fannies, like, oh, I'm, you know, you're all supposed to be fucking... I was watching something on TikTok the other day about these footballers that got kicked back in the 70s. And they were fucking amazing. And, oh, fucking hell, there's no parking there. Um, and it's like, yet today's footballers, they get a little clip and they're all rolling around and fucking ow, 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 ow. And it's, yeah, the cat, the fucking cat, the cat got fucking drop kicked and he still got up and ran on. The cat's got more about him than Kurt fucking Zuma. Hey, the cat obviously it won't kick that hard then. But I hope he gets shit everywhere he goes now. The fucking cat kicker. Fucking pathetic. I wonder how many lives that cat's got left now after living with that fucking family that abuses animals, that abuses a fucking... I mean, I bet that cat weren't cheap because let's face it, Footballers, they like to spend a bit of money, don't they? They like to waste a bit of money. So I bet that cat must have cost a fair few grand. And all he's done is fucking kicked it. He should be taken to court, never allowed an animal again. Fucking million pound fine that goes to fucking uh, some kind of cat's home. And I'll tell you what the other punishment be. Never allowed to keep a fucking animal again. And then he's got to go around to schools and telling people. He should be telling kids. He should show kids what he did. And then he should fucking say, right, you have to explain your attitude now. And then also he's got to go and work in these fucking cat's homes as well. Cleaning all the cat shit up. And I'd also make him do it. I don't know if he's any good at football. I don't know if he plays for his fucking national team. He's French, you know. I, I would say, right, and you've got, if he, if he gets picked for the French squad for the World Cup, um, in November, say, no, you can't go, mate. Your punishment time is you've got to go to these fucking cat's homes. I'm just fucking fed up with it. It's just a complete joke, and something's got to be done about it. Right, I'm off. Get you later.